Despite being ahead of the curve with hybrids, Toyota has taken smaller steps towards the world of battery electric vehicles. That could be game-changing, however, with the company committing to spend $13.6 billion on battery technologies by the end of the decade. The company is investing, not just in next-generation lithium cells, but also revolutionary solid-state battery technology. Toyota went so far as to give us a vanishingly short look at something special. A prototype vehicle, actually running and driving with solid-state batteries. Join us as we explore Toyota's insane new solid-state battery. But before moving forward, make sure to subscribe and press the bell to never miss any of our upcoming updates. The vehicle shown in the video appears to be a version of Toyota's LQ concept, which first debuted at the 2019 Tokyo Motor Show as an AI and self-driving demonstrator. Since then, it's had a starring role in a series of commercials for the Tokyo Olympic Games. Thus far, it was simply reported to be a battery electric vehicle however in this release, it bears a large diesel announcing its all-solid-state battery. Far from a static model, the prototype was filmed driving down the road under its own power. A trip of 500 kilometers on one charge. A recharge from zero to full in 10 minutes. Maintaining 80% of your charge capacity for 800 cycles or 240,000 miles and all with minimal safety concerns. This is what Toyota is promising everyone with their new battery technology. Toyota has been the world leader in sustainable transportation for a decade now. Toyota was the first company to popularize hybrid vehicles. These vehicles use both an internal combustion engine and a battery to increase the vehicle's mileage and reduce fuel consumption. Toyota's Prius series of hybrid vehicles today is synonymous with green transportation these days. Similar to their Prius and Hybrid Cards project, Toyota is looking to set industry standards for green transportation with their new solid-state battery-powered electric vehicle. Toyota is currently a world leader in solid-state battery technology, according to industry experts. Toyota and the Japanese government are spending a lot in research and development to make solid-state batteries affordable and easy to manufacture on a large scale. Toyota has itself announced that it will be spending $13.6 billion of its own money on the development of battery technology. According to Nikkei Asia, Toyota will be introducing the first electric vehicle with a solid-state battery by 2028. Japanese company, like Nissan, is also planning for a similar timeline. Both manufacturers are being helped by the Japanese government, which has put together a 2 trillion yen, or about $19.2 billion fund to support companies researching his field. But Toyota is sitting on top of the solid-state battery technology, with over 1,000 patents on solid-state batteries to their name. According to the European Patent Office and the International Energy Agency, Toyota made the largest patent applications on solid-state technology between 2014 and 2018. The shift toward the new battery technology will also have an effect on companies further down the supply chain. Japanese auto materials makers are rushing to set up the necessary infrastructure to supply automakers. Mitsui Mining and Smelting, commonly known as Mitsui Kanzoku, will start up a pilot facility that will make solid electrolytes for the batteries. It is important to note that solid-state batteries still need lithium to work, so even with a complete shift from current battery tech to solid-state, we won't escape the need to keep mining this element. The Japanese government will also help companies procure lithium, given that the element is in limited global supply. Toyota is also partnering up with major battery manufacturers like Panasonic, Toshiba, and CATL. Toyota's chief technology officer Masahiko Mita confirmed that the first prototype vehicle running solid-state battery has been ready since June last year. Toyota's vice president of mobility communications, Shiro Tachimoto, while talking to The Drive, said that, based on that data, we continued to make improvements, and in August last year, we obtained license plate registration for vehicles equipped with all solid-state batteries and conducted test drives. This is something really exciting news for battery-powered electric vehicles of the future. It means that there is progress being made to make BEV even more convenient and widespread. 
But what makes these solid-state batteries so special? How do they actually work? As the name suggests, it has something to do with being in a solid state. But more seriously, solid-state batteries are battery technology that employs solid electrodes and a solid electrolyte. This is different from regular batteries like lithium-ion and lithium polymer that use liquid or polymer gel electrolytes. It uses solid electrolytes to regulate ions and allow the flow of electrons from one electrode to the other. Every battery has two electrodes and electrolyte that link the electrodes. The negative electrode is called a node while the positive electrode is called cathode. The electrolyte is the connection between these two. The electrolyte allows the ions to flow through it and connect to the anode or cathode. This depends whether the battery is charging or discharging. This chemical reaction allows the flow of electrical charges between the electrodes, allowing the battery to convert the energy stored as chemical potential into electrical power when the battery is discharging. Conversely, when the battery is charging the ion flow is reversed. And now the electric energy is being used to transfer energy to chemical potential energy in the battery. In conventional battery technology, like the lithium-ion batteries, these are the ones with the electrolytes, is in the liquid form. By replacing liquid electrolytes used in current batteries with solid material, the batteries are far less flammable which allows them to run in a wider temperature window. It's thought that this could allow solid-state batteries to achieve greater power delivery as well as faster charging times, due to the lower risk of thermal runaway leading to fiery destruction. Additionally, there are potential gains to energy density too, which could lead to lighter vehicles with longer range. In fact, Toyota is promising that its new EVs will be fully charged from flat in 10 minutes. The single charge will give a range of 500 kilometers. Solid-state battery technology has been challenging to master, creating a robust, solid-state battery that can stand up to the rigors of automotive use has proven challenging. The new batteries must also hold up to repeated charge and discharge cycles without failure if they are to serve as a reliable power source for electric vehicles. In the same vein as their lithium-ion forebearers, there are also manufacturing issues to contend with. Hundreds of gigawatt hours of battery capacity will be needed for future EVS, so companies must figure out how to produce high-performance solid-state batteries in huge numbers while keeping costs affordable. Currently, the solid-state batteries are expensive to produce. The world is moving to make EVs more affordable, and solid-state batteries, at least for now, is not helping at front. But Toyota has already set a timeline to deliver its first solid-state powered EV by 2028. But it will not just be Toyota to take advantage from the funds for the solid-state batteries. There are other Japanese car manufacturer companies, like Nissan, who also expect their first solid-state EV by 2028. No doubt, Toyota can actually revolutionize the EV market with their marvelous solid-state technology and they might lead the automobile industry as well. Well, what do you think about the Toyota's new solid-state battery? Will it be able to grab prime importance in automotive industry? Let me know in the comments below. Support me with a thumbs up and subscribe, if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching.